What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're gonna be doing some upgrades to our low dollar trailer we bought for $800. Get it back up to par. Now, last episode I told y'all there were some quirks, so we're gonna fix those quirks today. And I got a couple things I wanna show you that I got some ideas with, but you'll get to see that. I got some cool ideas and hopefully they work out. They're real cheap to do. It should be real beneficial. First thing we're gonna hop on before this rain hits is this trailer has these for hooks. <laughs> Clipping my strap in there is not exactly ideal. So we're going to put some half inch D rings on the trailer. That way we ain't got to worry about that no more. I'm going to go ahead and fire up this here welder and get to doing some welding. You know, smack the paint off and flap it up there and do some buzz buzzing. Stick it in the freezer. We got them all on there. Yeah, them's them's are just like U bolts bolted in there, hole drilled, and I'm all. A half inch D rings. Whew. See if the heat wasn't bad enough. Got a daggone storm rolling in. We went ahead and painted these. Ooh, that's the ugly one. That's the one where I was dialing in the welder. Forget you saw that. There you go. That's better. That's more better. Hey guys, we do have the other drag slick for the car, so I'm gonna go to Harby Freight, get one of them tire changer doodads. I think they're like 60 bucks. It'll just help out. And then, um, last thing to do on the car before we get start raising hail is um, the brakes, just get the brakes right. And that's, that's it. And then I can show you that cool thing I was talking about, but I'm not gonna spoil it yet. Y'all are gonna have to wait. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Golly, I got sweat on my sweat. <sighs> All right, 
time to shower so I can go out in public. So I can go out in public and uh, grab that tire tool from Harvey Freight. Man, I can't catch a break. Showered, got dressed. Going to go to Harvey Freight. I'm about to trip over these sons of guns right here. And they're just telling me to go to work. Oh, no. Alright guys, losing daylight, but we're still we're still making stuff happen. Got the old kickers there. God die. New boot goofing. So this side came without its issues. The other side, of course, has to give issues. So this nut has completely rounded off. Oh, that's not how to zoom in. <laughs> yeah, so it's completely rounded off. So we're gonna take this size bigger lug nut like this. And we're gonna just weld it up on there. Hope that it doesn't, uh, you know, bond to the stud because then we're cutting the stud off. And then we're gonna bust it off. tomorrow change out that back tire and then uh see if chuck will let us borrow his lift and go over to brakes waiting on brake parts ordered a bunch of brake parts new rear caliper ordered new rear calipers ordered all brake pads all rotors so that way they're fresh brand new and uh two new rear calipers so hopefully that's where the air is coming from when I was bleeding them. And uh, yeah, might be able to take this thing to Mexico. Whew, it's still hot out. Like that's all. I didn't just take a shower. That's sweat. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, forgot to mention. Drilled that bad girl out last night. Cut off the rusty section. Slap that on there. Good to go. The one beforehand wasn't exactly uh, doing so hot. So, trailer is what I would call sitting pretty. Got our new connection here so it won't rip out the socket every time you plug it in and unplug it. And this is a good budget deal I got here. Put a little bit of money into it and we're in good shape. All right, today I gotta go to the parts store find this slug nut so I can replace it and you know most of the time you can't buy a single lug nut but pretty much each one of these was already missing one lug nut so I'll be able to use five or six of them should probably take all that to the dump maybe save one as a spare alrighty now we're sitting pretty got lug nuts on every stud now we just need to change out this tire here because it's shredded 
and that happened because my anti-roll bar was like really tight because I did I adjusted it on the wheel cribs when it got on level ground it was too tight I didn't know I backed up and this inner fender up here absolutely just carved out giant path in the entire sidewall of this brand new tire so $330 before shipping down the drain but we have the replacement tire we have the Harbor Freight tire changer tool I gotta go assemble it, and I'm probably just gonna change the tire on this trailer. Just pop the back straps here, throw a jack on the trailer, jack it up this tire off, and change the tire. Um, after that, I really wanna get this thing on a lift and figure out the brakes. Sometime later today, our brake pads, rotors, and two new rear calipers are gonna arrive. So we'll be doing that. Today is Saturday, and then tomorrow, kind of sketched about going to Mexico, you know. If I'd tag and insure this, I wouldn't be a sketch, because uh, it's not really, it's less impoundable in Mexico. <laughs> we, we ain't trying to deal with all that. That's a, it's a hefty uh, thing to deal with there, so I'll have to think about that. But the trailer is now travel ready, so I mean, I just got to do what you got to do. You only got to do it a couple times, and then, then we can get her the track to do stuff from then on out, so. Uh, yep, that's where we're at. Might as well stop, stop procrastinating this and get up on it and change this tire out. Let's go check out that Harp Freight tool I got for six bucks and uh, see if it's gonna work or not. <laughs> than I wanted it to be. Is she on there. Whew, golly. Ah, oh, that's rain, not sweat. Yeah, half and half. So I start getting some of the brake components. Got the pads and two rotors. I believe those are the fronts, but I'm not 100% sure. Got our tire back here, but we're not gonna put it on because it's just gonna come right back off to swap out this caliper and this disc and those pads. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to open up the holes on them things big enough to get on here and sit true, you know? So that'll be fun. But trailers done ready for, you know, war. 
waiting on the brakes for the car don't like the bumper um it don't fit because the intercooler is too big so i had to cut out up here to give it some relief you see it's bulging right there so I'm, i do like the way it looks without a bumper and fenders but um yeah probably gonna run without it just because that's kind of embarrassing and i gotta come in here and transition this from here to here so basically just draw a straight line and make a smooth transition same with up here and here but uh i don't think i'm gonna do that because i think i'm just gonna take the bumper off exhaust comes out the fender now but guess what with the bumper placement that that ain't good i gotta clearance it more and then put a ring on it i clean up and deburr the edges of the exhaust and yeah that's uh that's where scoots is at right now this rain done wore me out and uh shenanigans that harbor freight tool ain't worth nothing you don't bolt it down and i wasn't about to bolt it down in the driveway so i would recommend because i had to do this anyways just threw the rim on the ground and jumped on the tire so i just sitting on it pulling the hose if y'all are wondering what the heck but just put my knees on it put my weight on it and just use the bar and that was enough to uh it was enough to get it get it on there live and learn you know got it for in the future when i finally do get me a shop but Depending on how late these brakes arrive, that might be a Sunday deal, tomorrow deal. So find out. All right, guys, we don't get the brakes on, you know, within the next hour or so. I'll see you guys in the morning. Woo. Another day. All right, so we didn't get any uh, more brake parts to show up, so we just installed what came, which was fronts, front rotors, and pad, and uh, re greased the pins and the calipers, you know, cleaned them off, re greased them. And the seals looked all right. You know, they're a little old, but they wasn't leaking or nothing. So, yep, we ain't got no drilled and slotted we don't care not right meow i, you know, I can't lie uh doing work on the trailer is actually easier than out in the yard because the jag i can just pass from one side under the car to the other and it rolls and the wood don't creak or nothing so that was actually kind of convenient i need to take all these straps off and store them out of the sunlight so the sun don't just absolutely destroy the straps and before i'm gonna take it somewhere i'll just hook them back up but uh yeah these were looking pretty uh pretty rough not not all gone they still work but definitely been uncomfortable so at least we got new shiny ones on there for now and we're waiting on the rears rear calipers rear rotors and rear pad didn't see no brake leaks so probably gonna be it this weekend because i got a lot of stuff i gotta haul off to the dump and uh you know y'all don't probably care to see that i'm just gonna load those tires in the truck take them to the dump <clears throat> but the really cool thing that i was wanting to show y'all but <clears throat> just kind of ran out of time was gonna be uh this little 30 six dollar reverse camera i got that comes with for 36 bucks on amazon it comes with a monitor a little handheld monitor but it uh hang on a second it's actually in the trunk because i had it on the battery but that monitor right there and a suction cup mount and uh come on and uh what i was gonna do was i was gonna mount it underneath car probably behind the transmission or so and it doesn't have a wide enough angle to get it from in front of the transmission because i tried but what it was gonna do was i can't see the ramps when i'm pulling up to the trailer so somebody has to help me and that's kind of annoying so one it was gonna be able to show me where i'm at where i need to be going up the ramp from underneath which is uh really nice really convenient and two if you're doing a wheelie can't see nothing but the sky you can look down at your little under car cam and you know you see if a wall's coming <laughs> so that would have been pretty cool uh we didn't get to installing it this weekend but that was the cool idea i had and you know for 36 bucks just being able to see where your tires are at compared to your ramps for me is huge because you don't gotta climb out of the car climb back in you can just you know you ain't gotta look at nobody doing their crazy hand signals you just boop, boop, you go do your own thing they're like dang how'd you do that so so well you don't tell them you know tell them you're evil knievel so it takes skill to do that but don't tell them you got that camera hidden under there so you can you know that's a little trick for us all right fellas i hope y'all like today's episode it was a lot longer than last weekend's no action yet we're we're gonna get there all right we will breaks i'm redoing all of them and uh you know if i can't if i can't figure it out i'm gonna have to invest in somebody mentioned finishing line breaks i appreciate that i looked at them and that is last case worst case scenario if i can't get the air out of this don't figure out where it's coming from i'll have to buy from them because they do the complete kit every line custom made and 
they, it was pricey. It was pricey, but be worth it if it means, uh, you know, your ultimate safe stopping and not stop. All right, guys, if you're new here, make sure to comment below something you like about the car or if you have any questions. And then uh, those of you that are not new here, you know, tell me about, uh, you know, there's a few of you. Tell me where your build's at. Let me know. I like seeing that and I'll comment back. You know, quite a few of y'all. Uh, if you're interested in posting your build, we got a Facebook group and a lot of people have posted their build. And I've said it before. I, I'm amazed some of the people that are following me because they're they're build is cooler than mine so all right guys happy to get a good episode out to y'all at least you know with some actual stuff going on not much action but definitely more uh progress in it i feel so catch y'all in the next